Setting up on the bank as before would eat precious time. So I decide to moor up and fish from the boat. All I can do now is wait and hope that the fishing gods will see fit to lift their curse. Fish. But there's work to do. It's on a tree. Let's go above it. It's around a tree, I think. Okay, in the, keep in the middle. Out in the middle, please. It's coming up. It's coming up. Right. Ready? Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's clear, it's clear. Lift, 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 lift. Now! We have it. We have it. Tapper, we have it. Let's go to the bank. My tapper curse has lifted. All right, let's have a look at this beast. Lengthwise, it just goes on and on. This is a fish with eyes bigger than its stomach. Dogs, huge lizards, a cow, and even humans. I've heard enough about its feeding habits to know that this is a beast that means business. So what about the boatman and the diver on Lake Kenyir? Did they, in fact, fall foul of a tapper? The one thing that's actually bothering me is the teeth. They're very sharp, they're very numerous. If one of these jumped out of the water and grabbed you, your arm or your leg is going to look basically like hamburger meat. And yet, neither of those corpses at Lake Kenya had so much as a scratch. For so long, this creature has been my nemesis. But that doesn't make it guilty of homicide. Maybe for once, the real culprit isn't an animal. But even if the two deaths on Kenya remain a mystery, it hasn't all been in vain. At long last, I've finally caught it. The tapper is no longer the one that got away.